<clears throat> okay, so this is the first book that we're going to go through for our BAM course. Okay, it's a simple book. You might be thinking, what? We're reading children's book? Yes, we are going to start with children's book. This is how we start learning the Arabic language. Okay, we don't start learning the Arabic language by, by memorizing grammar rules or morphology. No, we don't do that. Okay, in today's time, many people, when they start learning the Arabic language, they go through that route. Okay, where they start memorizing grammar rules, muqtada, khabar, so on and so forth. By the end of the lesson, by the end of the, 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 the study, they are still unable to speak the Arabic language. Okay, because from the very beginning, they, they were taught the wrong way. Okay, we're not supposed to memorize uh, grammar rules. Wait, let me someone... We're not supposed to memorize grammar rules from the very beginning, but we're supposed to learn how to speak like a baby. Okay. When you're little, how, how did your mom teach you how to speak English? How did your teacher teach you how to speak English? They teach you words, word by word. Okay, Baba, Mama. Can you say Mama? Can you say Baba? So on and so forth, right? When you build your vocabulary, then they teach you how to say phrases. Then they teach you how to say sentences, so on and so forth. Until you're able to speak the language, then your teacher will correct. Okay, it's I saw. It's not I see. Okay, it's it's I've seen, it's not I've saw. Okay, you they they correct your tenses as you go. <laughs> this is how we're gonna teach you how to speak the Arabic language. Okay, tamam. First book, ana wa akhi. I hope everyone can see um the book itself. The book is available on the on the group. So if you want to follow along on your phone on your tablet, go on. Um, you can do so. Inshallah. Okay, so Anna wa Akhi. Anna wa Akhi. Anna means I. Everyone knows this. Okay, everyone, even people who don't know the Arabic language, they know that. Okay, this word Anna means I. Okay, Anna means I or me. Okay, Anna wa Akhi. Anna wa Akhi. Um, uh, Brother Hassan, I think uh, you should. I'll just mute you, sorry, because you're coughing. I don't want to disturb everyone else. Okay, sorry. Okay, so ana wa akhi. Akhi in the Arabic language means brother. I think everyone knows that. Akhi. Akhina, our brother. Akhi, our brother. So whenever you put the ya, it means mine. Referring to mine, something that belongs to me. So ana wa akhi means me or I and my brother. Okay, I and my brother. Okay, so this is the first key concept that you need to learn. Whenever you want to denote something that belongs to you, you put the yeah at the end. First concept to know. Okay, so if I say kitab, this is a book in my hand. Kitab, kitabun, a book. How do I say my book? Just put the yeah at the end of the word. B. Okay, kitab B. Okay, if I have a pen, this is a highlighter, but uh, let's call it a pen. Okay, kalamun. Okay, kalamun. So how do I say my pen? Kalami. Okay, just put the yeah at the end. Okay, naturally, um, initially the word is akhun. Okay, this is how you write the word. Akhun, this is the word. Okay, when you put the ya yeah at the end, this one naturally goes down. So it becomes akhi when you put the ya. Yeah. Okay, akhi. It's not akhi. It's weird when you say akhi. Okay, so it's akhi. It has to follow the natural voice. Akhi. Kitabi. Qalami. So on and so forth. Okay. So ana wa akhi. Me and my brother. That's essentially what he's trying to say. Me and my brother. Okay. So... We have to figure out which one is me, which one is his brother. This should be him. Okay. So, ana wa akhi. Okay. So, first thing, I'm going to read the entire book for you first. Okay. The entire book for you first, so that you're familiar with how to read the book. And then we're going to explain what it means. Tamam? Okay. First one. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Ana sadiqukum walid. 
أنا صديقكم وليد عمري خمس سنوات عمري خمس سنوات okay. صباح الخير صباح الخير صباح الخير أنا صديقكم سعيد أنا صديقكم سعيد عمري ثلاث سنوات عمري ثلاث سنوات وليد أستيقظ كل يوم في ساعة السابعة صباحا وليد أستيقظ كل يوم في ساعة السابعة صباحا أرتب غرفة نومي أرتب غرفة نومي سعيد سعيد وأنا وأنا أستيقظ كل يوم في الساعة السابعة صباحا سعيد وأنا أستيقظ كل يوم في الساعة السابعة صباحا وأرتب وأرتب غرفة نومي وأرتب غرفة نومي وليد وليد Okay, thank God he's wearing an underwear <laughs> وليد أستهم صباح كل يوم أستهم صباح كل يوم وأغسل جسمي بالماء والصابون وأغسل جسمي بالماء والصابون سعيد سعيد وأنا أستهم صباح كل يوم وأنا أستهم صباح كل يوم وأنظف وأنظف أسناني بالفرشة والمجنون عفوا والمعجون وأنزف أسناني وأنزف أسناني بالفرشة والمعجون بالفرشة والمعجون وليد وليد ألبس ثيابي ألبس ثيابي وأمشط وأمشط شعري وأمشط شعري سعيد سعيد وأنا وأنا ألبس ألبس ثيابي وأمشط شعري وأمشط شعري وليد أتناول طعام الفطار أتناول طعام الإفطار في الصباح وأشرب الحليب وأشرب الحليب سعيد سعيد وأنا أتناول طعام الإفطار طعام الإفطار في الصباح وأشرب الحليب وأشرب الحليب وليد أرتب حكيبة المدرسة أرتب حكيبة المدرسة وأنتظر وأنتظر 
وأنتظر الحفيلة الحافلة التي تأخذني إلى المدرسة وأنتظر الحافلة التي تأخذني إلى المدرسة سعيد سعيد وأنا وأنا أرتب أرتب حكيبة المدرسة وأنا أرتب حكيبة المدرسة وأنتظر وأنتظر الحافلة التي تأخذني إلى المدرسة وليد وليد أركب الحافلة أركب الحافلة وأذهب وأذهب إلى المدرسة في التاسعة الصباح في التاسعة صباحا سعيد سعيد وأنا وأنا أركب الحافلة وأنا أركب الحافلة وأذهب إلى النوم وأذهب إلى النوم تصبحون على خير تصبحون على خير تمام that's the that's the reading of the entire book very short book very easy book okay now just uh, as a show of hands or reaction how many of you understood what the entire story was about as a gist you don't have to tell me in detail summary of his day ascent amen very good anyone else One more person. Give me something. <laughs> I think he's doing what his brother does. Okay. Very good. Sense. Okay. See, you can, you can, uh, you can roughly tell. You can roughly understand the Arabic language, and you can see that they are actually doing things for the day. Okay. And there's two brothers, and they're describing what they're doing for the day. Okay. Now we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through the book, but I need. You guys to read it for me. We'll take turns. Tamam? Okay, so I have you guys on uh, on the participation list. So whenever I call out your name, you're going to read where I tell you to read. Okay? Ana wa akhi, me and my brother. Ana wa akhi. So if I say me and a brother, it would be ana wa akhun. Okay? Ana wa akhun. We're talking about a brother. Maybe that brother is not my friend. Okay. Ana wa akhun. Me and a brother. Okay. But if I say ana wa akhi, immediately you know, okay, me and my brother. Okay. You know that they're related some way, whether it's just a uh, friend to friend or their family. Okay. Okay. First one, Ayman on the list. I'm going uh, according to the list. Tamam. Faddal, Ayman. Assalamu alaikum. Ana sodi kokum walid. Umri homsu sana 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 tin. Sana wet. Sana wet. Okay, first one. Assalamu alaikum. Every Muslim knows this. Assalamu alaikum. Whenever you meet, um, tamam, Khadija. Okay. Whenever you meet a Muslim meets a Muslim, everyone should know Assalamu alaikum. The response will be wa alaikum assalam. Assalam means the peace. Okay. Assalam alaikum upon you. May peace be upon you. The reply would be wa alaikum assalam. Every Muslim knows this. Ana sadiqukum. I sadiq. The word sadiq means a friend. Okay. The word sadiq. Let me write. It's very difficult to write with the mouse, but I shall try. Sadiqun. Okay. This is the. Asal, this is the original word. Sadiq. Sadiq means a friend. If I say Sadiqukum, it means your friend speaking to a group. 
So this guy, this guy over here, he's talking to all of us. He's saying, I am your friend. Okay, Ana Sadiqukum. Okay, I am your friend. What's his name? Walid. This is his name. Okay, Walid. Umri. Ah, wait, there's the yeah here. We've already studied this concept. Umri. He's referring to, he's talking to about, about his age. Umur. In the Malay language, we say Umur as well. Okay, Umur. Umur ko, brother. Umur. Umur. We're talking about his age. So, Umri, my age. Same concept as Kitabi. Echi, so on and so forth, right? So Omri is giving us a number. So this is how you spell the number. This is the number itself, referring to number five. Okay. He's, he's saying, My age is five years old. Senawet. Okay. Senawet. From the word Sene. Very difficult to write. Okay. From the word Sene. Sana means year, okay? Sana what is a is the plural form, okay? So he's he's saying that Walid is saying that his he is five years old, okay? Five years old. Okay, next one. Okay, uh, next one on the list. Uh, Akila. Fadli. <laughs> Very good. Very clear. So now he's saying Sabahul Khair. This is another thing that we should learn. Sabahul Khair means good morning. Sabah Al Khair. Okay. In Fusha Arabic and in, in modern standard Arabic, the Arabic that we're studying today, we pronounce it properly. Sabahul Khair. Good morning. Okay. When you're talking to Arabs, you can just say Sabah. Sabah Al Khair. Okay. You don't have to say Sabahul Khair. You don't have to say it, okay? Just ensure that you say you say like a like a slang. Sabah, sabah, sabah. Okay, that's all. Sabah al-khair. So he's saying, "Good morning, ana sadiqukum. I am your friend." Okay, this guy is trying to be our friend again. Okay, this guy over here is another guy. Sadiqukum, and his name is Saidun. His name is Said. Okay, Omri, my age is three years old. Three years old. Okay, very easy. Okay, next one. Next one on the list. Hassan. Fadl. No. I'm <laughs> Ahsent, very good. Hassan. Okay, now Walid is trying to say Walid, the five year old guy. Okay, Walidun is saying, Astaykidu, I wake up. Astaykidu, I wake up. Kulla yawmin, every day. Okay, Astaykidu, kulla yawmin, every day. Fisati sabia, sabahan, at seven o'clock. Fi means at or on. Okay, asa means the hour. Sa asa the seventh hour. If is it uh, in the evening or in the morning? Sabahan from the word subh. Okay, in the morning. So he wakes up at seven in the morning. So I'm not sure if he he, he prayed the uh, fajr or not. <laughs> okay, urattibu. I arrange or I make. I arrange urattibu. Gurufa Naomi. Gurufa means room. Naomi means uh, my sleep. In this context, it means my bedroom. Okay, I arrange my bedroom. Okay, Uratibu Gurufa Naomi. I arrange or I make my bedroom. Okay, Tama. Okay, next one on the list, Junaida, Sister Junaida. Fadli. Uh, let me clear the screen first. Okay, now we're talking about Saeed. Okay, there's a typo over here. It's supposed to be 
Gurfata and Naomi. Again, Saeed, he's, I think he's just copying what his brother says. Saeed, okay? <laughs> Wa ana and I, Saeed is saying, Wa ana astaykizu. I wake up. Kulla yawmin, every day. Kulla yawmin, fi at. Okay, what time? What time is he waking up? As saati, sabiati, same as his brother. Probably They're probably sleeping in the same room. At the seventh hour, is it night or day? Sabahan. In the, in the morning. وَأُرَتِّبُ غُرْفَةَ نَوْمِ And I arrange my bedroom. Okay? Easy. Okay, next one. Walid. Okay. Um, uh, Brother Kirai, go ahead. Uh, yes, hi. Okay. Uh, Walidun. أَسْتَحِمُّ صَبَاحَ كُلِّ يَوْمٍ وَأَغْلِسُ وَأَغْسِلُ وَأَغْسِلُ جِسْمِي بِالْ بِالْمَاءِ وَالصَّابُونِ Excellent. Very good. Okay, now Walid is trying to tell us um, what he does after he makes his bed. They're like vlogging, but in the, in the olden days. Okay. So Walid is saying, أَسْتَحِمُّ Astahimu means I take a shower. Astahimu. Okay. Sabaha in the morning. Kulli yawmin. Every day. Okay. It's very familiar. We're using the same words. Kulli yawmin. So on and so forth. Every, we're familiar with the word. Astahimu. I take a shower. Sabaha in the morning. Kulli yawmin. Okay. Every day. Wa aghsilu. Aghsilu means I wash. Okay. Astahimu means I shower. The Arabic language is very specific. Okay, so he's trying to say he's taking a shower here. Now he's he's washing. وَأَغْسِلُ جِسْمِ Ah, you see a concept over here again. جِسْمِ جِسْم means body. جِسْمِ my body. Easy. Okay, he, so he said he's washing or he washes his body. I wash my body. What are you just saying? I wash my body with what? Bil ma'i. Bil ma'i. The word B, the particle B means with. Okay. Bil ma'i wa sabun. With water and sabun. Wait, this is a very familiar word. <laughs> Soap. Okay. He's washing his body with water and soap. Okay. It's not that difficult. Ascent. Very good. Okay. Next person um, on the line. Noor Atika. Ascent. Very good. Very clear. Okay. Saeedun. He's probably going to copy his brother again. So, Saeedun says, وَأَنَا أَسْتَهِمُّ صَبَاهَا كُلِّ يَوْمٍ I think everyone understands what this means by now. وَأَنَا أَسْتَهِمُّ And I take a shower as well. صَبَاهَا كُلِّ يَوْمٍ In the morning, every day. وَأُنَظِّفُ Okay, وَأُنَظِّفُ also means wash. But it's not specific to your body. Okay, for your body, you say, وَأَغْسِلُ I wash. You have to scrub it. Okay. وَأُنَذِّفُ can mean using something else to wash. Okay. وَأُنَذِّفُ In this case, he's brushing his teeth. Okay. وَأُنَذِّفُ أَسْنَانِ Ah, we see another concept here. أَسْنَان أَسْنَان means teeth. أَسْنَان أَسْنَانِ My teeth. Okay. بِالْفُرْشَ بِالْفُرْشَةِ With what? With the brush, toothbrush, obviously. <laughs> toothbrush and toothpaste. Ma'joon. Bil furshati wal ma'joon. Okay, so this itself is a phrase. Normally people say it together. Bil furshati wal ma'joon. Okay. Wal nazif was nani bil furshati wal ma'joon. Okay, very easy. Now, interestingly, the word asnan, we've already heard of this word before. Okay. And I'll show you where we've heard this word. Take note of the word asnan. Okay, if we go back, we see a similar word with a similar root. 
Can anyone uh, remember what this means? Years old. Years. Very good. Now, what does the word years and esnan, teeth, have anything to do with, with each other? If you know, both the words have similar root letters. Seen, noon. Okay, seen, in this case, seen and noon are the base root words. Okay, and the word esnan have the same root word as well. Seen and noon. Now, in the Arabic language, whenever a word is related to each other by having the same root words, they have a similar meaning. Okay, this is part of our Arabic subtleties where I will e equip you on subtle um, differences in words as well. So it turns out, if you look at science, okay, if you look at science, they determine the age of someone by looking at their teeth. Subhanallah. Okay, so the word asnan referring to teeth, the word senawat refers to years, and they are both related because you determine someone's age by looking at their teeth. Okay, interesting, right? Tamam, let's move forward. Okay, so Saeed has, has told us what, what he did for after he made the bed and so on and so forth. Okay, next one. Uh, Salwa, Fadali. Very good. Now, Walid is telling us what he's doing now. Okay, Albasu. Okay, who can tell me what's the meaning of Albasu? Albasu. Sorry? Wearing his shirt. Wearing. Okay, good. There, he's wearing. Al Albasu. I wear. Albasu. I wear. Okay, what is he wearing? Thiabi. Okay, can someone translate this for me? Thiabi. Anyone? Come on. Shoot. <laughs> uh, my clothes. My clothes. Very good. Thiabi. My clothes. Okay. Uh, singular. My clothes. Okay. In the Arabic language, um, they call thobe. Normally in our culture, when you say thobe, it's like something I'm wearing now. Something like a dress for a male. Okay. But in the Arabic culture, when they say thobe, it can refer to a clothing as well. Okay. Thobe. In the Arabic language, when you say jubba, okay, jubba is like those uh, long dress, but it has a button that goes from the top all the way to the legs. It's like the, the half thing, like those uh, scholars will wear. Uh, that one, we call it jubba, okay? The inner dressing, like what I'm wearing here, like what most of us wear, white, um, black, so on and so forth, that one is a thobe, okay? A thobe can also refer to a clothing like you see over here, okay? وَأَلْبَثُ ثِيَابِي وَأَمْشُتُ شَعْرِي أَمْشُتُ I comb شَعْرِي My hair. You see the concept applied here again. شَعْرِي Very easy, right? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, we're done with our list. Let's go back to the top. Ayman, Fadl. <clears throat> وَأَنَا وَأَنَا أَلْبَسُ ثِيَابِي وَأَمْشُتُ شَعْرِي Okay, uh, Akila, can you translate this for me now? Are you I able to do it? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Um. No problem. We'll uh, we'll tra we'll translate it together. So wa ana and I al basu thiabi. What do you think it means, uh, Akila? Al basu. I wear. Okay. Al basu means I wear. Wa al basu thiabi. Wa amshutu shari. And I comb my hair. Okay, وَأَمْشُتُ شَعْرِي And I comb my hair. Okay, تمام. حسن, فضل. أَتَنَوَّرُ الطَّعَانِ الْإِفْرِ 
الطاري في الصباح عشاب الحليب احسنت فيري جود اتناول اتناول مينز اي هاف اوكي اي هاف اتناول يو كان يوز ذيس فور اني ثينغ اوس اوكي نوت نيسيسيرلي فور فود اوكي اتناول طعام الافطار طعام الافطار for breakfast طعام means food الافطار means breakfast okay in our context today when we, when we say iftar it means the breaking of the fast we're in the, the month of Ramadan we're going to have iftar later okay the breakfast we call it suhoor okay but in the Arabic language the word iftar means breakfast okay طعام الافطار the food for breakfast في okay at الصباح at subo time at the morning in the morning وأشربوا وأشربوا and I drink الحليب milk الحليب وأشربوا الحليب okay okay next one uh, جنيدة تفضل لي <clears throat> وأنا أتناول طعام الإفطار في الصباح وأشرب الحليب. Okay, Saeed is doing the same thing as his brother. وأنا أتناول when I have طعام الإفطار breakfast في الصباح in the morning وأشرب الحليب. He's copying his brother. Okay, like like uh, most brothers do. <laughs> okay, next one. Kira, uh, تفضل. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, walidun uh, urattibu haqibatal madrasa wa antadhiru alhafilatal lati uh, what, What's this? Ta'khuzuni Ta'khuzuni ilal madrasa Okay, so walid is now saying what he's going to do later on urattibu urattib means to arrange arrange okay uh, when uh, you arrange your duas for example in the month of ramadan uh, some of the practices that we we would do is we would write our duas whether it's in arabic or in, in english whatever but we would arrange them we call it iratib okay ratib we have different ratibs which is a different arrangement of of duas of practices so urattibu means i arrange urattibu Okay, here we can see a certain pattern in the word. First one is the alif. Whenever you see an alif in front of the word, it means I am doing it. Okay, not he is doing it, not she is doing it, not you are doing it, but I am doing it. So in this case, uratibu, I arrange. Hakiba tal madrasa. Hakiba means the bag. Al madrasa, school. Okay, in the Arabic language, the word madrasa doesn't necessarily mean religious school. It means a normal school. Okay, hakibat al madrasa. He's arranging his school bag. Okay, wa antadhiru. Okay, you might not know what this means, but you have a clue. Okay, it's something that he is doing. Walid is doing. So I am waiting, or I wait. Antadhiru. Wait. I wait. Al hafilata. The bus, التي, that will, okay, التي means that. Okay, we'll learn this in the uh, next lesson, inshallah. تأخذني, that will take me. You have, you can see the yeah at the end. Yeah, as we're talking about me, something related to me. تأخذني, that will take me إلى to المدرسة, to the school. So he's waiting for the bus that will take me to school. Okay? Very easy. Tamam. Okay, we're almost at the end. Saeed, what is Saeed doing? His younger brother, three-year-old bro brother. Okay, next one. Uh, Atika. Faddali. Asante, very good, very smooth. Okay, so Saeed is he's copying his brother. And 
I wa ana and I uratibu he's arranging hakibat al madrasa his cool back wa antadiru he's waiting for al hafila the bus allati that ta'khuduni take me okay ila al madrasa to the school okay very easy okay um salwa fadli <coughs> Walid, Arkabul Hafilata Hafilata, Wazhabu il al Madrasa, fi Tafiatil Sobaha. Very good, Asanti. Walid says, Wa Arukabu, Wa Arukab, get on. Okay, Al Hafilata, he got on, or he's saying, I got on. What's the, what, how do I know it's saying, I got on? Because of this clue over here, to Alif. Arukabu al hafilata he got on. Walid is saying, I got on the bus. Wa adhabu. Okay. If you don't know the meaning of that of this, no worries. But you know that he's saying that I'm doing something. Okay. Wa adhabu. I go. Wa adhabu. I go ilal madrasa to the madrasa. What at what time? Fi at tasiati sabah. Tasia. One, two, three, four, <laughs> nine. Okay. Nine in the morning. Okay. Siati Sabah. Nine in the morning. Okay. Okay, next. Saeed, what is Saeed doing? Okay, going back to the top. Ayman, Fadl. Wa ana arkabu al hafila. Wa ashabu ilal. Annaumi to sip to to sip to sip who to sip who na Ali Hoyer Alal Hoyer Alal Hoyer. Okay, so Saeed is saying, Wa ana arukabu, and I got on Al Hafilata. This is a different bus, I don't know why. Wa adhabu, and I go ila annaum to sleep. Okay, we've seen this word before. غرفة النومي غرفة النومي bedroom تصبحون على الخير. So he's Saeed is talking to us saying good night على الخير upon goodness. Okay, تصبحون على الخير. Literally it means may you become or may you awake with goodness. Okay, but but uh, this is an, an expression and it means good night. Good night everyone. تصبحون على الخير. Okay. Okay, I hope everyone can understand the story. So now, we're going to read the story once more, but not yet. Let's go through some key concepts first. Um, let me just share my screen um, real quick. <clears throat> It's not showing me. <coughs> okay, I hope everyone can see my screen now. Tamam. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to how to speak the Arabic language, how to hold a, a, a conversation, a simple one, at the very beginning. Okay, istami what the hadith. Istami. I hope everyone can see me. Istami what the hadith. You should know the meaning of it. Istami' what the hadith. Okay, so one person is gonna say the line on the right. One person is gonna say the line on the left. Okay, this is how you hold simple uh, conversation. Tamam. First one, Ayman and Akila. Ayman takes the line on the right. Akila takes the right line on the left. So I'm gonna recite for you first. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Marhaban. أهلا وسهلا اسمي محمد اسمي كريم أنا من مصر أنا من سوريا Okay, when you guys take the conversation you're not gonna uh, use this name you're gonna use your own name and you're not gonna use your own country uh, this country, you're gonna use your own country inshallah Okay, Ayman and Akila 
تفضل السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام مرحبا اهلا وسهلا اسمي ايمن اسمي اكيه انا من سنغافوره انا من سنغافوره احسنت فيري جود اوكي حسان جنيده تفضل السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام مرحبا اهلا وسهلا اسمي حسن اسمي جنيدة أنا من بوروندي أنا من سنغافورة أحسنت very good أحسنت وأحسنتي أوكي كيراي أن أتيكا تفضل السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام مرحبا أهلا وسهلا اسمي كيراي اسمي أتيكا أنا من سنغافورة أنا من سنغافورة Excellent. Very good. Okay, so this is how you hold the conversation. Very easy. Okay, you might be thinking, oh, this is very simple. But as the as the lessons progress, you will learn more, inshallah. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rewire your brain now. Okay, to use Arabic alone. Don't think about the English, but to, just use Arabic alone. Salam alaikum. Reply, wa alaikum salam. Marhaban. Welcome. What's the reply? You can say, ahlan wa sahlan. Okay, which means welcome as well. Marhaban, ahlan wa sahlan. Okay, ahlan wa sahlan literally means, literally, we don't use the literal meaning, we use the metaphorical meaning, which is welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan literally means ahlan. Ahlan means consider yourself a family member. If I say ahlan wa sahlan, literally, I'm trying to say that consider yourself a family member of mine. Wa sahl, be at ease. Okay, be at ease, relax. If you want to scratch your head, if you want to check your phone, if you want to do something else, like how you're with your family, go on. Ahlan wa sahlan. Okay, that's the literal meaning of the word. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ismi. Aha. Ismi. We see a concept here. Ismi. Ism means a name. Ismi. My name. Okay. Ismi. Nabil. Uh, Kirai just said, Ismi. Kirai. Okay, Ayman just said, is me, Ayman. Okay, then the reply would be, is me, uh, Akila, is me, Hassan, is me, Junaida, is me, Khadija, is me, Atika, so on and so forth. Okay, this is how you hold the conversation. You meet someone, Salam alaikum, Ahlan, Marhaban, is me, Nabil, that guy will say, is me, his name, so, so on and so forth. Next, what do you say? Where are you from? Because if you're going to speak the Arabic language, most likely Arabs will be like, wait, you speak the Arabic language? Wow, that's uh, that's very shocking. Where are you from? So you say, Ana min Singapore. Okay? Ana, you don't really have to say it in the Arabic uh, word per se, because uh, the world is very modernized. You can say, Ana min Singapore. No problem. Okay? Ana min Singapore. That's the proper way. If you want to recite it the proper way. And then min Singapore. Okay? Very easy. So, this is the first conversation. Okay? Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Marhaban, ahlan wa sahlan. Ana, or ismi Nabil, ismi Karim, ismi Muhammad, ismi Amina, ismi Atika, ismi Khadija, ismi Ayman. Ana min Singapore, ana min Suriya, ana min Pakistan, ana min Malaysia. Hassan, ana min Burundi. Okay? Okay, next one, we're going to learn about the numbers. We've already studied what is five, khams, and three, thereth. Now we're going to learn how to count the numbers from one to ten. It's very easy. First one is wahid. Then we have ithnan, thalath, arba, khamsa, sitta, sab'a, thamanya, tis'a, Asher. Okay, you might be wondering why I don't say Wahidun, Ithnani, Thalathatun, Arbaatun. Why? Because I'm trying to teach you how to speak. Okay, when it comes to reading, okay, and you want to read properly, then you say Arbaatun, Khamsatun. Okay, when you're speaking, you don't have to say Khamsatun. You just say Khamsa. Okay, Sitta, Sabah, Thamanya. Okay, if you learn different dialects, it's going to be different as well. 
Okay, so everyone, take turns to just say the numbers from one to ten. Ayman, fadl. Ahir, Isnan, Salasa, Arba, Homsa, Sita, Saba, Thamania, Tisa, Ashara. Okay, go, Akila, fadli. Ahir, Isnan, Salasa, Arba, Homsa, Sita, Saba, Thamania. Yes, uh, for Okay, Hassan, Okay, واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة. Okay, who do we have? أتيكا فضل فضلي. واحد اثنان ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة. Excellent, very good. Everyone is able to count now. Very good. Excellent. Okay, then we're going to go through a couple of key concepts here. The first one is we've already studied this. Whenever you want to denote something that belongs to you, you just put the ya. Okay, for example, the word kitabun means a book. You put the ya, it becomes kitabi. It's not kitabui. Take note of that. It's not kitabui. It's kitabi. Okay, you have to follow the natural flow of the voice. Kitabi. Okay, kitabi. Excellent. Very good. Okay, going back to our book. <clears throat> We're going to do a final thing which is translate. Now, in the Arabic language, you have to be quick in the way you think, okay? And one of the ways in which you know that you are strong in the Arabic language is how you're able to translate, okay? When an Arab person speaks, you have to register it immediately in your mind and you have to translate it quick, okay? If I say, أنا وأخي, who can translate it quick? أنا وأخي. Me and my brother. Very good. You don't have to. Ana, ana means uh, I. Wa means an. Akhi, akhun is brother. Akhi, my brother. Ana wa akhi, uh, me and my. Okay, it's uh, it means me and my. Okay, it's it mean it means you have you don't have a strong grasp of the word yet. You need more practice. The way you practice is to read and speak like what we did uh previously. Okay, so now I'm gonna read, and you guys are gonna translate. So, Assalamu alaikum. Ana sadiqukum walid. Umri khamsu sanawat. First person to tra translate. Ayman, go ahead. May peace be upon you. My name is uh, Walid. Wa Walid. Uh, my age is. Ana sadiqukum. Ana sadiqukum. My age. Uh, my name is. Ana hmm? sadiq. My. my uh, I am friend. I am your friend. I am your friend, uh, Walid. Okay. Umri, khamsa sanawat. My age is five years old. Hassan. Okay, next person, uh, Hassan. Sabah al-khair, ana sadiqukum sa'id, umri, thalatha sanawat. Tarjim. Sabah al-khair, good, good morning. Uh, ana sadiqukum sa'id, I'm your friend, Sa'id. Umri, thalatha sanawat. Um, three years old. Excellent. Very good. Okay, next one. Akila. Astaykidhu kulla yom. Astaykidhu kulla yom. Fi saati sabi'a. Fi saati sabi'a. Uratibu ghurfatan naumi. Uratibu ghurfatan naumi. Tarjim. I wake up at seven a.m. Okay, kulla yom. Kul means every yom day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. What's the meaning of every day? I wake up. I okay. get up. Okay. Every day. Every day. Okay. Fi saati sabi'a. Sabahan. In the morning at 
كيفن احسنتي فيري جود ارتب غرفه النوم ارتب فيري جود ارتب غرفه النوم اي ارينج ماي بيد روم احسنتي فيري جود اوكي نيكست بيرسون جنيد وانا استيقظ وانا استيقظ كل يوم في الساعة السابعة صباحا وأرتب غرفة النوم. And I wake up every day at 7 in the morning and I arrange my bedroom. Excellent. Very good. And I arrange my bedroom. I want to hear the my bedroom. It means you have a strong grasp of the word. غرفة النوم. Know me. If I say Gurufata no, it means a bedroom. If I say Gurufata no me, ah, it means my bedroom. Okay? I sent you very good. Okay, Kirai, you, you get the, the fun part. What are you doing? Astahimu Sobaha Kulli Yomin. Okay? Astahimu Sobaha Kulli Yomin. وأغسل وأغسل جسمي بالماء والصابون. Okay. Uh, أستحم uh, صباحا كل يوم أستحم أستحم uh, شاور uh, صباحا in the morning كل يوم every day. So I shower every day. Next line. وأغ... وأغسل uh, جسمي جسمي body و... uh, وأغسل uh... معنى معنى أغسل Uh, wash my body. أغسل mm. جسمي. I wash my body. I wash my body. بالماء uh, with water. والصابون. والصابون. Uh, with uh, soap. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Next person. Who's 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 next on the line? Okay. أتيكا. سعيد وأنا أستهم صباح كل يوم وأنظف. أسناني بالفرشة والمعجون. Um, I will shower in the morning every day, and I wash my teeth uh, with my toothbrush or with a toothbrush and toothpaste. Excellent, very good. Okay, in this case, it's better to say if you translate, it's better to say you can say I wash my teeth, no problem. Because you're translating, no problem. But it's in its context, it's better to say, I brush my teeth. Okay? وَأُنَذِّفُ Okay? Very good. Sent. Okay, now we're back to our uh, first person. Okay, Ayman. Fadlan. Walidun. Albasu thiyabi wa amshutu sha'ari. I wore... I wore... I wore... I wear my t-shirt and I, I wear. I wear my t-shirt and I comb my hair. Very good. I wear my clothes in this case. Okay, t-shirt. You can say t-shirt, no problem. But uh, in the Arabic language, t-shirt. There's another word for it. Okay. Al basu thiabi wa amshutu shahri, and I comb. Okay, my hair. Shahri. Okay. Next one, Hassan. Hassan is on the line. Yeah, Hassan. Wa ana al basu thiabi wa amshutu shahri. I mean, I wear my clothes and I'm, I, I comb my hair. I comb my hair. I sent. Very good. I send you. I send. <laughs> Very good. Okay, next one. Uh, Akila. Is this next one? Mm, yeah, next one. Atanawalu. Well, it says Atanawalu. Atanawalu. Ta'am al iftar. Ta'am al iftar. Fi sabah. وأشرب حليب. Okay. أتناول معنى لا تناول. I have. أتناول. I have. Okay. Uh, أتناول is a very flexible word. It, it's uh, you can use it for different uh, circumstances, not just food. Okay. طعام الإفطار. What's the meaning of طعام طعام الإفطار? What was that? Okay. Oh, I think your mic uh, might be, you have to uh, speak into the mic. Oh. 
I'm I unable. Have my ah, I have my breakfast. Good. Okay. When? In the morning. Okay. Well, I have some milk. Good. And I have, or I drink milk. Ashrab means milk. Uh, ashrab means I drink. Halib means milk. وَأَشْرَبُ الحليب. And I drink milk. Ahsanti, very good. Okay, next one on the line. Uh, Junaida, Fadali. Saeed says, وَأَنَا أَتَنَاوَلُ طَعَامَ الْفَارِ فِي الصَّبَحِ وَأَشْرَبُ حليب. And I eat my breakfast, food okay. for breakfast in the morning. And I drink milk. Very good. Ahsanti. And I eat, you can say I eat, no problem. Atanawalu can mean I eat in this case, no problem. You can say I have breakfast. You can say I uh, consume breakfast, no problem. That's the that's the richness of the Arabic language. The word atanawalu can apply to different circumstances. Okay, very good. And I have or I eat, I consume breakfast in the morning. Okay, and I have or I drink milk. Very good. Um, <clears throat> okay, next person on the line. Kira, you've done you have you done yours? Uh the Shawupat, yes. Okay. Uh next one should be Atika. Okay, Walid says, Urotibu Haki Batal Madrasati. Urotibu Haki Batal Madrasa Wan Tadiru. Wan Tadiru Hafila. التي تأخذني إلى المدرسة. Uh, uh, okay, أتيك سوري. Okay, um, I arrange my bag, my school bag, um, and then I wait for the bus that will take me to school. Very good, excellent. Well done, very good. Okay, back to the first part. Uh, we have on the list Hassan. وأنا أرتب هكيبة المدرسة وانتظر حافلة التي تأخذني إلى مدرسة. I arrange my school bag too and wait for school school bag that will bring me to the school. Excellent, very good. Excellent. Okay, next one. أركبوا الحافلة أركبوا الحافلة وأذهبوا إلى المدرسة في التاسعة صباح أيمن أركبوا I'm not sure about this أركبوا الحافلة أركبوا Take the bus up. Take the bus or hop onto the bus or get onto the bus. No problem. Arukabu al Afilata. Okay, next one. Wa Azhabu. Wa Azhabu. Wa Azhabu ilal Madrasa. What do you think it means? Azhabu. I go. And I uh, and I go to and I go towards the madrasa. At nine, at nine a.m. because Sabahan is morning. Very good. Excellent. وأذهب إلى المدرسة في التاسعة صباحاً. Very good. In the morning. Okay. Next one underline uh, Akila. وأنا أركب الحافلة. Okay. What does this mean? I take the bus. Very good. وأذهب إلى. And then I. Okay, to a gnome. <laughs> I go to sleep. Okay, Saeed, so he doesn't follow his brother to school. He goes back to sleep because he's too, he's too young to go to school. He's only three years old. Okay. So he's, there, he's talking to us now. Good night. Okay. Very good. Okay, any questions? <clears throat> Any questions at this point? Anyone has any problems with homework or anything? Um, I, I shared the link a bit late. So the homework for this week, uh, I will wait for it longer. No problem. Anyone has any 
any additional questions? <clears throat> Um, you said that when you add the yard, it's for possession, but here there's no yard for the Habibah. So, 12. 12, yeah. How do okay. you change it to my school bag? Yeah. Okay, in this case, it means I arrange the school bag. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't mean I arrange my school bag. It means I arrange the school bag. Okay, because you don't see the yeah anywhere. Okay. okay thank you. Okay, we'll we'll learn this concept in the next lesson. Okay, uh, it's called mudaf and mudaf ilay. We'll learn it slowly. Okay, um, as we progress in the course, inshallah, by the time you finish year one, you'll be most of the books that we're gonna read in year two will be in English. Oh, sorry, will be in Arabic. Even the lessons will be conducted by me in Arabic, fully in Arabic. I don't. Uh, I don't, I will not allow English. <laughs> okay. Tamam. Okay. When I say, okay, everyone reply to me, yes or no in the Arabic language. Yalla. Okay. <laughs> What's yes and no in Arabic? Yes. La. No. 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 Okay. No. And le. Okay. If I say, okay, everyone okay? No. No. Okay, I don't want to say I, I don't want to hear any yes or no <laughs> from this on out, inshallah. Okay, Tama? Okay. <laughs> Naam. No. 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 Very good. Naam. We'll okay, any further questions before I uh, share one more thing before we close the lesson? <clears throat> I have a question, Father. Hassan. The word yusabihuna, it mm. literally means good night or is in this context that means good night. Tamam. In this concept, in this context, it means good night. Okay, thank you. Okay, literally, it means may you become. Okay, Hassan is uh, he asked a very good question. He's he's talking about this one over here. Okay, when you further your knowledge of the Arabic language, you'll realize that this word means to become. So it means you become. Okay, so he's asking, what does this mean in this context? Well, in this context, you say, it means good night. Okay, literally, <laughs> literally, it means may you become or may you wake up. Okay, may you emerge. Okay, because, because he's going to go to sleep, right? So he's trying to say, may you emerge with goodness. That's the literal meaning. Okay, but in the, when we speak to people, we don't use the literal meaning. We use the metaphorical meaning, which is good night. Okay. This is from here you can appreciate the beauty of the Arabic language. Okay. It's very poetic. Okay. You have the literal meaning and you have the the, the metaphorical meaning. And then um, this is a new science. We call it Rams wal Ishara, where you have Arabic subtleties. Okay, you can see it in the Quran as well, Arabic subtleties. Like the word sana uh, and athnan. Okay, what's the relatance between what's related between the two of the words? Asnan means my teeth. Asnan means teeth. Sana. Sana means years. They have the same root word. Okay, so there has to be some correlation. Ah, it turns out that you determine someone's age by looking at their teeth. Okay, we call this it we call this ilm rams wal ishara. Subtleties of the of the Arabic language. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, slowly share it with you during uh, the course itself. Okay, um, I'll share something additional. <clears throat> so uh, I think uh, someone asked about the ذَلِكَ and هَذَا in the Qur'an. So let me just um, explain it real quick. Let me just share my screen, and then we'll close class. Sometimes I do get ahead of the time, so you guys have to remind me sometimes, because uh, I like to teach. Let <laughs> me just share my screen real quick. <clears throat>
if anyone has any questions you can uh, ask it in the chat or just ask me on here no problem okay tamam someone asked the question i think asma sister asma asked about the uh, the term zalika she wasn't understanding what uh, i i meant for the first class which is uh, last week so in the quran in the arabic language okay in the arabic language you have demonstrative pronouns what are, what are demonstrative pronouns in english we call them this or that okay this is a book i hope you guys can see okay this that word this is a demonstrative pronoun this is a book if it's further away from me i will say that oh wow quite a line that is a book okay in the arabic language we have the same thing as well we call it ism ishara nouns of ishara to show something okay or demonstrative nouns one of it is ذلike. okay ذلك means that. Okay. This means هذا. So I can say هذا كتاب. هذا كتاب. Okay, who can translate for me? هذا كتاب. This is a book. Very good. If I say, I'm online again. Good. ذلك كتاب. That is a book. book. That is a book. Very good. Okay, now in the Arabic language, it's different from the English language because the word هذا and ذلك has some ذوق, has some taste into it. What do I mean? It can it can describe to you a location of something. Okay, it can describe to you a, a, a thing in generic terms. This, that. Okay, nothing, no emotion uh, attached to it. It can also describe to you something with status. Okay? And you see this in the Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alif la meem. Okay? Nobody knows the extent of the meaning of these, these uh, letters. We call them huruful muqatta'at. Separated letters. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the meaning of this. And his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa to the extent in which Allah gives him knowledge. ذلك kitab. Can you translate? Anyone can translate this for me. ذلك الكتاب. That is the book. That is the book. ذلك الكتاب. But in modern day translations, you will hear, or and you see it today, they translate it as this is the book. This is the book. You can open your uh, own uh, translation of the Quran. Most of them will say this is the book. But ذَلِكَ means that is the book. لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين In which there is no doubt in it. هدى للمتقين As a guidance for those who have taqwa. ذَلِكَ الكتاب. Now, when you read ذلك الكتاب, if you translate it in the English language, it means uh, this is the book. But by right, it's supposed to be that is the book. Okay, but you don't feel anything when you say that is the book. That is the book. Okay, okay, fine. That is the book. But when you read the Arabic language, when, when it's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ He's trying to get your attention. He's trying to tell you that book. Be attentive. That book. He's trying to say this is, what he's trying to say is something great. That book. Okay. It's like uh, it's like I have a boss. I have a boss at work. He's a great boss. Okay, very polite, very respectful. He's a good leader. When I'm talking to my workmates, when my boss is not around, <laughs> okay, try to don't backbite about people. Say good things about people. When you're talking to your workmate, okay, you and you want to describe your boss, you you tell your uh, workmate Ahmed, that guy, mashallah, that guy, he's a great guy. Huh? That guy, number one, that guy. You can sense when I say that guy, I have some emotional respect for, for that person, right? And you, when you read the Arabic language here, there is emotion involved in it as well. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ذلك الكتاب. That book. He's not only telling you that book. Okay. No, he's telling, he's telling you that great book. 
Ah, be attentive. Pay attention to what I'm about to say. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. That book, that great book, there is no doubt in it. هدى للمتقين for those who have taqwa. So Allah subhanahu wa taala is not only referring to the mushaf that you have in front of you, because He didn't say هذا الكتاب. If He said هذا الكتاب, He would refer to the mushaf here. But he's trying to say, ذلك الكتاب. So he's referring to the kitab, the preserved tablet, that lawh al that is preserved in the heavens. He's trying to refer to that. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب. No doubt. فيه in it. هدى للمتقين. As a guidance for those who have taqwa. Okay. So uh, I hope uh, this recording will be of benefit to Sister Asma, who asked a question, inshallah. Uh, anyone has any questions before I close the class for today? No. <laughs> ah, excellent. Very good. I was testing you guys. Okay. First person who's going to say no, I'll be like, okay, you're going to get marked down. <laughs> okay, any other questions? No. Junaida, any questions, Junaida? No. Atika? No. Hassan? No. Uh, Akila? No. Okay, tamam. Uh, if no questions, um, as usual, I'll give you the one pager after this, inshallah, after the class. Uh, and you guys can continue learning the Arabic language on the portal itself, on the website. Uh, every Monday, the lesson package will be released to you and you can continue learning the Arabic language with Become an Arabic Master. Tamam? No. Ah, Hassan, you said no. Uh, oh, Hassan, you said naam. Okay, tamam. I, I thought you said no. Tamam, very good. Tamam. Tamam means okay. Okay? Okay, wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa raka wa sallam. والحمد لله رب العالمين شكرا وجزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام